good morning students welcome to this video so today we are going to see about commercial uses of microorganisms you know the previous class you know we will discuss about what is the meaning of the microorganism and major types of microorganism and yeast itself you know so now we are going to talk about the next sub topic commercial uses of microorganisms commercial uses of microorganism so already you know what is the meaning of the microbes or microorganism and the major types of microorganism like that uh, fungi and yeast you know bacteria and by the so these are the major microorganism so the microorganism is very important role in our human life you know because the such kind of microorganism is benefited for us and some of the microorganism is harmful for us you know so in this topic we go learn about the commercial uses of microorganism you know for example you know the bacteria is one kind of the microorganism you know so the bacteria is mainly is benefited by us okay and it can produce some material from microorganism okay and that like that microorganism is used for that agriculture purpose agriculture field and medicinal purpose and that industrial purpose also is used for some microbes or microorganisms okay in this topic we will discuss about the commercial uses of microorganisms okay the some microorganism are used in large scale production of alcohol and wine and the acetic acid or vinegar okay so the the microorganism are used for large scale production used for the large scale production large scale production of alcohol and wine and the acidic acidic acid acidic acid or that vinegar so that microorganism are used for large scale production okay whenever we have prepared the alcohol wine and acetic acid definitely such kinds of microorganism is used for preparation of alcohol wine and the acetic acid without microorganism you cannot prepare the alcohol wine and acetic acid okay and yeast also is used for commercial product of alcohol and wine okay yeast yeast is very important one kind of microorganism this yeast is used for the commercial production of the commercial production of alcohol alcohol and wine so without the yeast we cannot prepare the alcohol and wine because some process is there uh, fermentation process is there okay ma so yeast is very important use of the commercial product of the alcohol and wine alcohol and wine okay ma for this purpose only for this purpose only the some of the for this purpose only some of the microorganism like yeast it can grow naturally yeast is grown naturally of sugar naturally of sugar naturally of the sugar present in sugar present in like the wheat okay and grain wheat grain and rice and crusted fruit etc so that the alcohol you know the alcohol the yeast is very important of the commercial product of alcohol and wine okay ma so this purpose only the some of the this purpose only yeast it can produce naturally such as the sugar is present in the wheat grain wheat grain yeast the wheat wheat grain rice and the custard fruits like juice itself okay 
So now next one, so one of the activity. Because you know the next one activity is one of the activity. So that activity, the how can prepare that alcohol from the ingestion? How can prepare that alcohol with the help of yeast? Without yeast, we cannot prepare your alcohol or wine by the help of the yeast. Okay, well, this is one of the activity. Activity that 2.4. You know, the first two what you do? First you take the 50 ml of beaker. First you take 50 ml of beaker. Then you fill the 3 4 of water. Then you fill the 3 4 of with the water. Okay. Next you are dissolve the 2 to 3 teaspoon of sugar you are. Next you what you do? Next you are 2 to 3 teaspoons of sugar. Teaspoon of sugar. Okay. Well. Next you are half teaspoons of yeast powder or yeast powder in the solution. Yeast powder in the solution. Okay. Next what you do? Four to five keep under the warm place. After one smell will come. What is the smell? So that is a one of the activity. So this activity regarding to how to prepare the alcohol. Okay, ma? The first you take the 50 ml of beaker. First you take 50 ml of beaker. You fill the 3 fourth of water. Okay. Next you add the 2 or 3 teaspoon of sugar. Okay, ma? Next you add the 2 or 3 teaspoon of sugar. You add it with it. Water. Add it with water. Next you add the half teaspoon of yeast powder. Next to what you want? You add the half teaspoon of yeast powder in the sugar solution. In the sugar solution. Okay. Next to what you do? You keep at one place. Wait for the 4 to 5 hours. Wait. The value you can keep under the warm place for 4 to 5 hours. Okay. So after 5 hours, you take the beaker, smell it. Definitely, one bad smell comes out from the beaker. Can you guess that smell? So that smell is known as the alcohol. That smell is known as for what? That is the alcohol. That smell, what is the name of the smell? That is the alcohol. That is the alcohol. Alcohol. Have you understood? Or the, or the, what kind of smell you can absorb? The Alcohol. Okay, well, alcohol works well. You can find out that beaker. Okay, well, that is one of the activity. So, how is it possible? How is it possible? Some process will be occur on that inside the beaker. Okay, some process. What process will be occur in that process? Fermentation. Okay, well, what process will be present in that beaker? So, what is the name of the process? The fermentation process. Okay, well. what is the process? The fermentation. So, what is the name of the process? The fermentation process. You know, what is the meaning of the fermentation? The fermentation means, can you observe the smell? Definitely, the smell is a hot smell. Alcohol. Okay, well. Alcohol smell. What smell? You find out the alcohol smell. Okay, well. So, how the, the sugar solution is converted into like that? We will absorb, we will guess the alcohol smell. How is it possible? We added the sugar, you know. What you added first? You add the sugar. Then what you add? You add the yeast powder. That is very important. What you add first? You add the 2 or 3 teaspoon sugar solution sugar and you add a teaspoon of yeast powder. A teaspoon of yeast powder. Okay, well. So now some process is occurring inside the beaker. What is the process? The name of the process what? The fermentation. The name of the process what? The fermentation. Okay, well. The sugar is converted into 
all the call by yeast okay by yeast okay wow. the sugar you know the sugar solution see sugar solution is converted into what all the call is converted into all the call with the help of the by yeast by yeast you know that is very important without yeast sugar cannot convert into alcohol so the yeast is a very important microorganism for fermentation yeast is a very important process of converted into fermentation process okay so the fermentation means nothing but the process of sugar the process of conversion of sugar into alcohol okay ba the sugar is converted into alcohol the fermentation is something but the sugar okay what the sugar is converted into alcohol that process is known as called the fermentation that is a very important process okay what so the fermentation is nothing but the process of okay the fermentation is nothing but the process of conversion the process of conversion of sugar into alcohol conversion of sugar into alcohol by yeast okay what that process is known as called fermentation okay what that process is known as called what fermentation that is a very very important process and who first discovered the fermentation okay the louis pasteur louis pasteur louis pasteur in year of that 1857 Who first discovered the process of fermentation? The Louis Pasteur in year of the 1857. Okay, he was the first discovered the fermentation. It's a very very important for Marcus. So the fermentation means something bad. The process of conversion sugar into alcohol. Sugar into or the sugar is converted into alcohol with the help of the yeast. With the help of the is that is a very important the help of the is that process is known as called fermentation okay the first who discovered the process of the fermentation mean like the louis pasteur a year of the 1857 1857 so the human first discovered the fermentation okay and next one the medicinal uses of microorganisms okay then next to one the medicinal uses of microorganisms okay the next one the medicinal so the next one the medicinal uses of microorganisms now we take the most of the medicines are prepared from microorganisms particularly bacteria and fungi okay so now we take the most of the medicine are manufactured or prepared from some of the microorganism like bacteria and fungi okay and next one so whenever whenever you fall ill the doctor may give some medicines like that tablet capsule or injection some of them painted in some Okay. Whenever you fall, for example, you are playing in playing ground. So unfortunately, you fall down. Some wound is there. So next year we go hospital. So during that time, so doctor gives some tablets. So doctor gives some the antibiotic. One word, you know, the antibiotic. So the antibiotic tablets. and capsule and medicine some ointment some injections also give us okay so whenever the doctor give some medicines okay and when you are get the medicines okay so after few hours after few days the disease is completely cured the disease is completely cured so what do you understand this process so the antibiotics so antibiotic we nothing but the medicine so okay wa antibiotic we nothing but the medicine so nowadays we will suffer the many disease what we get definitely we will get injection or tablet or ointment so after few hours after few days 
definitely the completely the this is is completely pure because we are dealing with antibiotic tablet like, like injection or ointment you know so this medicine okay ma so these medicines that medicines mean like that uh, injection or tablets okay or capsules okay ma these medicines kill or stop okay ma these medicines kill or stop growth of that this is causing micro or micro or some this is called that antibiotics so the antibiotics mean nothing but you know the medicines so you antibiotics mean nothing but so these medicines kill or stop kill or stop the growth of kill or stop the growth of the this medicine kill or stop the growth of growth of this is causing micro this is causing micro organism this is causing micro organism that is called as antibiotic that is called what antibiotic it is a very important to mark you know the antibiotic means we will suffer any one of the diseases okay what you do you go to hospital you consult the doctor doctor give us some tablet or injection or ointment you put in the tablet you put in some medicines after few hours after few days after the completely recover from that disease what you understand whenever you get that antibiotics like tablet or ointment or injection you know so these medicines kill and stop the kill and stop the growth of disease causing micro organism okay what for example you will suffer the fever okay what we will get one tablet so after few hours the completely recover that tablet is that tablet is purified in our fever okay what on the tablet we put the name energy fever only will come you know so that is called the antibiotic that is called the antibiotics okay what so the these days you know the nowadays that many of the uh, many of the antibiotics many of the antibiotics is prepared from bacteria and fungi okay va nowadays the many of the medicines are prepared from bacteria and fungi okay va so i from degree as i told you know the many of the medicines nowadays the many of the medicines is manufactured or prepared from the some that microorganism like bacteria and fungi so bacteria and fungi okay va so and some of the bacteria okay va some of the bacteria which is is a streptomyces and is a tetracycline and is a erythromycin or some of the commonly known as the antibiotics which are made from the fungi and bacteria so these are the antibiotics name what is that streptomycin and tetracycline and the streptomycin so these are the medicines or commercially known as called the antibiotics which are made from the bacteria and fungi which are made from the bacteria and fungi okay so that is known as called the antibiotics that is known as called what antibiotics okay va well, and who first discovered that antibiotics okay va well, who first discovered that antibiotics in 1929 okay va in 1929 that alexander the alexander fleming alexander fleming okay so the so 1957 the alexander fleming is one of the scientists today the year of the 1929 he only first discovered that antibiotics you will be the first to discover the antibiotics year of the 1929 and who was the sort of plumbing is very important on mark of it okay va and then how he find out that medicine how he find out that medicine so actually he is one of the scientist he is worked in that cultural of cultural the culture of this is causing bacteria the cultural 
cultural this is casting of bacteria okay ma so he actually he is one of the scientist where he worked he worked in the uh, cultural this is as causing of bacteria and suddenly he observed the so suddenly he observed he found spores of little gray mold a one of his cultural print okay the suddenly he find out okay, what he find out some suddenly one spore okay what the like the spore means like uh, this kind of structure you know so this kind of structure is a spore okay what is the spore okay what so suddenly he find out some spores grown on the cultural plate okay what cultural plate okay what so what is this he find out oh this is one kind of bacteria he find out he find out what he find out he observed the presence of mold prevent the growth of bacteria prevent the growth of bacteria on that mold okay what that mold is prevent the growth of that bacteria on the cultural plate was the bacteria we are very very much prevent panna okay so then only he will find out what we find out in fact it also kill the growth of bacteria it also kill many of these bacteria from the mold of penicillin was prepared okay what the penicillin okay what penicillin is one kind of the antibiotics penicillin is one kind of the antibiotics have you understood so idu mari da avar and culture bacteria culture panna bodu one kandupidichar so that is a from this penicillin adu enna peru vachar penicillin okay so the nowadays the most of the medicines is prepared from that such kind of microorganism like bacteria and fungi bacteria and fungi okay so these are the microorganism nowadays so these are the microorganism it can use to for prepare yeah, many medicines many medicines so these kinds of medicine it can cure the healthy of diseases these kinds of bacteria or these kinds of medicine it can use to for can prevent and control the healthy of diseases okay and antibiotics are even mixed in the feed of livestock and poultry with the checked microbial infection in animals okay so this is after what we do so like the feeds of livestock okay we have a garden mari work or medicine kadikkum mari kandu pidicha okay va inda poultry and we can find out the disease okay va the microbial infection in animal okay va they are also used in control the many plant diseases i told the microorganism you know the such kinds of microorganism is benefited for us and such kinds of microorganism is harmful for us okay va so the most of the my, uh, most of the microorganism is definitely benefited for us because it can prepare that so some things like can use it for the agriculture purpose itself and antibiotics itself and industrial preparation or like the alga wine and yeast also you know so so that's why the microorganism is very important and the previous class we will discuss about that what we you know the lactobacillus you know it will kind of the bacteria so that bacteria is converted milk is converted into care with the help of the bacteria what is the name of the bacteria the what is the name of the bacteria lactobacillus so the microorganism is naturally benefited for us okay the such kind of microorganism is harmful for us you never mind okay what and next one in fact the important of remember that your antibiotic you know whenever you uh, get the tablet or injector or that ointment you know definitely without doctor prescription you should not get any tablet or ointment any medicines so first you get some doctor suggestion then you get a tablet or ointment or some injection okay that is uh, without doctor prescription you should not get any tablet or injection or any ointment first you consult that doctor okay then you get that ointment or medicines okay 
and the antibiotic taken were unnecessarily making that bacterial in our body okay ba so some of that benefited bacteria is present in our body like that the small intestine you know so there are so growing that many bacteria so that bacteria it can used for the digestion process you know so whenever we are getting that unnecessary medicines which what will happen that bacteria they will die or kill so definitely what will happen the food cannot digest we will suffer okay <coughs> you should not take unnecessary okay ma you the medicine is very important so you should not take unnecessary okay ma you should take unnecessary make definitely the some bacteria we will die in inside that stomach okay ma in or not effective against cold and flu the some of the microorganism is not effective against that cold and flu because the cold and flu is caused with through the virus the virus is a very dangerous microorganism because the virus it can reproduce it in inside the cell okay so that way we can't cure quickly okay ma so the virus disease is very very dangerous and it can spread from easy that virus disease it can spread from person to person easily through the water air and soil in some other bacteria okay so whenever we get that medicines without doctor prescription or without doctor consent you should not take unnecessary okay that is a very important points okay okay thank you students